Hey, I'm Dylan Wills, out here today with MotoOnline.com.au, a Wollongong motorcycle club, testing out the 2015 Honda CRF 450R. Uh, one of the main changes for 2015 is KYB's second generation pneumatic spring fork. Uh, different to what we see on the 250, uh, they run the Showa triple air fork. Uh, personally, I like the triple air fork a little bit better, just under the high speed stuff. Uh, under the low, low speed stuff, I think these forks work really well. Uh, I think with a bit more testing you can really get these things to work. Um, we were a bit limited today, so uh, I'd, I'd, like a, I'd like more time on this bike to see, but uh, at the moment I'm happy with the front end, it's, uh, it works well. Uh, for 2015 they've also changed the dual exhaust, um, they've cut them down just a little bit, uh, just centralising the mass, giving a better bit of balance feel. Uh, We've also got a revised cylinder head for a bit better top end. Uh, I think this bike lacks a little bit of power compared to the other bikes that we've, we've seen, but uh, saying that, you can see the 450 is really doing well in Australia and in America. So uh, with a bit of work, I think these bikes are really strong. In 2015 we also see the uh, the ignition map on the bars. Uh, we found the same results as the 250F, you've got your standard setting, uh, you've got a mellow setting and more of an aggressive setting. Uh, once again I like the aggressive setting, uh, mainly because uh, I do motocross, that's my thing. Uh, I think that having this on the bars is great uh, for any rider that just wants to go out on a weekend. You can you can change it depending on how the track is. Uh, so I think this is a great feature on the bike. I think Honda have made a really rideable bike this year uh, with five different fork settings, uh, three different ignition maps. I think for anyone that's going to buy this bike off the showroom floor, you'll really uh, you'll really find find the way you like to ride it. Uh, you'll set it up pretty good. Uh, I want to say a massive thank you to Wollongong Motorcycle Club for having us out today. Uh, be sure to head over to MotoOnline.com.au for an in depth review in the coming weeks. Oh.